what's up everybody so today since i'm actually off work for a little bit i thought we could do a fun little review of my buddy cameron's car uh so nice little treat today something to talk about something different besides the supra and the other cars that i've had uh this is actually the first time that i've ever really driven one of these well i mean i've driven his a couple times now uh but it's here today so let's take a look at it so there she is in all of her glory this is Cameron's 2018 Subaru WRX STI. It has a few bolt-on parts on it. It's running on full E85, uh, making around 340 or so to the wheel uh, from what he's telling me. You know, don't quote me on that. Uh, gorgeous looking car, beautiful white paint, a lot of flake in it. It's got a lot of flake in it. But yeah, all wheel drive, gives me lots of rally vibes. Never had one, always wanted one. It's always the first car that I was always kind of drawn to is these STIs and the WRX in general. Let's kind of do a little bit of a walk around on it. So as far as exterior modifications that he's done to it, he's got some Enki NT-03s on it and he's got those awesome highlighter greenish yellow looking wheels on it. Beautiful Enki NT-03s. He's got some Toyo tires on it, some proxies. Uh, these themselves, as far as tire size that I'm looking for, is a 235 by 45 18. Not too bad. Uh, these, I believe, are a 9 or 9.5 on the wheels. Um, he also does have a drag radial setup on it, which is why it has two valve stems right there. So you can fill up air faster and air them down. Hello, pupper. This is Pancake. She's a sweet baby. Look at her. Oh actually got this dog she's one of the uh, walmart parking lot free puppies that you people give away that's where we got her but she turned out to be a sweet little baby yeah she's a good girl all right so moving on from the wheels got pretty good fitment in the back as well and on our way to the back here we've got some aftermarket tail lights not quite sure where he got these from I'm not sure if they're spec d's or from some other brand uh, but they do have nice little daytime running strips and nighttime running strips i guess this white actually glows in them and you've got your brake light as far as the all, all the little leds in there those are your brake lights you've got some nice blinkers uh, half of them are actually your reverse lights which uh, i'll pull out his boobaroo key over here there it is I'm gonna press that yep and then that those like four right there are his reverse lights um, but when they turn on at night, this whole white strip is basically just completely red. You don't really see anything else besides that. Nobody tell him, but I actually did give him that license plate bracket yesterday because he had a different one on the car and it was a, just a dealership tag. Um, kind of ugly, cringy. I didn't personally like it. Um, this one is a limited model as well, so it does have some nice fancy things compared to a regular one. So you get a little bit of carbon here on the back with the STI badge in it. Um, his personal here as far as an exhaust has a AWE touring exhaust on it I'll kind of get underneath the car too so you guys can see what I'm talking about so I believe from what I've been told the touring exhaust comes with a couple of mufflers like this so just being wide open that way you can still have more of a comfortable drive but get some good good tones out of it no droning when you're on the highway uh, that's one thing that I really personally like about this exhaust system, is that it does not drone. Um, so this is a turbo back exhaust, so you've got your AWE cat back running all the way down to where the downpipe is. And then as far as a downpipe, we have a Cobb uh, catted 200, ho two, uh, 200 cell high flow cat back, or sorry, downpipe on the vehicle itself. Uh, he's supposed to have an F1 brake light here, but he cannot find it currently. So once he gets it, he'll be able to put it on the car and, you know, we'll, we'll get back to that later, I guess. So as far as the rest of the vehicle from the exterior, it's got some window tint on it. Nothing crazy. It's pretty minimalistic. He's not a crazy balls to the wall hot boy. Kind of like some of the stuff that I like doing, but it is a super clean, good looking car. Um, so if we go to the inside here, unlock the door might be a little dirty on the interior but you've got a uh, Harman Kardon sound system right there nice SDI floor mats 
Uh, he actually does have some quilted ones on the other side there and in the rear that I'll show you guys. But the fit and finish on them isn't really the greatest. They look nice in video, but not that great in person. Uh, this is a limited trim, so we do get the Recaro seats in it. You also get the sunroof, blind spot monitoring as well. Not really sure what else comes on the STI besides that. If you get a limited, I mean, you get the Harman Kardon sound system, I guess. So that counts as one of the things. Um, for some reason, the previous owner of this one opted out of the STI wing, unfortunately. So we do get this little just ducktail or little low-rise spoiler. Let's if I sit down in here for you guys. It's got a Cobb Access port plugged up right here. I just kind of keep panning down the interior. You'll have to excuse me if I don't sound too enthusiastic today. I'm not really feeling the greatest either. A little bit under the weather as far as my stomach. Um, you do get heated seats as well in here. So you got nice heated seats. Keep you warm in the wintertime. There's your sunroof. You got the uh, Starlink system from Subaru. Auto dimming mirror right there. How do you do? You guys can see yourself there. I do appreciate auto dimming mirrors. Uh, you got a nice close ratio gearbox. Uh, when it comes to Subies, I mean, gearbox has never really been the most amazing thing in them. I mean, you know, they do have a little bit of play in them. I mean, at the end, you know, once you get it in gear, I mean, there is still some side to side and some play back and forth, you know, like there you go. You can kind of see what I'm talking about right there. So not the most notchiest gearbox, but that can always be fixed with a short throw shifter. Nice STI steering wheel. I'd love for you guys to see this at night, but unfortunately, we're enjoying this beautiful day here in Tennessee and all of our pollen. Uh, one thing I really do like about the car, though, whenever I got in it at night, I noticed that the uh, STI badge actually glows, which I thought was a really cool touch that lights up real nice. Uh, you got back seats all of Cameron's junk back there, and uh, he's got those floor mats back here as well. There's your Harman Kardon sub back there. Oh, that's a big bug. Something is attacking me. Where'd it go? <laughs> Panic. You got nice doors. Alcantara trim on them as well. Uh, some piano black. I'm not crazy about this. This piano black isn't really my favorite uh, to kind of match with these doors. It doesn't really make too much sense to me why they would put that there. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Um, you got STI badging over there on the door sills, STI badging on the floor mats. Nice aluminum pedals down here, all metal. So, you know, overall, I mean, it is a good looking car. Didn't even know what that was. Ooh, fuses. It's a good looking car. Um, it's not, you know, doesn't have the most amazing interior like some other things, which, you know, Subaru's been criticized for that in the past, but it is livable. It is not a terrible place to be. And in my opinion, it's a really cool car, and I've been enjoying and been enjoying driving it for a while now, uh, for the last couple of days. I do not mind it at all, one bit. Let's pop the door on the back here. Oh, it's locked. <clears throat> Something I do like about these back doors is that they do open up fully, so a lot of back doors on cars will open up to like, let's say, right about there. But these keep going and they go out almost straight out which i really do like um you get that alcantara with that red stitching on the back doors as well same alcantara and leather seats on the rear here there's those floor mats i'd mentioned plenty of room in the back a little cup holders right there nothing crazy fancy but plenty of headroom very comfortable vehicle all on its own to begin with and if we go down here we will up the hood for you guys and I'll show you what is under here. Excuse me if I'm wrong when it comes to my Subaru terminology. Uh, oh, this is hard to do with one hand. Hold on. Uh, got it. I got it. Okay, look at that. Wow. It's got hood struts on it though. Pretty sure those are factory, which I, I think is pretty nice. Um, so, under the hood here, we've got the same Subaru motor that subie has been using for like a million years now since what 1992 or whenever the first first wrx came out 
first kind of Subarus came out. Um, but you know, interesting motor. It is a four cylinder boxer engine, uh, 2.5 liter, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so as far as modifications on this one, Cameron has a Perrin performance intake system on it. Well, at least the inlet here. Um, we've got a, I guess the rest of the intake is Cobb. Uh, yep, it is. So it is a Cobb intake with a uh, Perrin inlet for the turbo. Uh, of course, you got top mount intercooler because rally life being a super. <laughs> and then over here, we've got some stuff that me and him installed together. Um, we got a delicious tuning ECU module over here. You got flex fuel kit from delicious tuning as well. Um, over here, you've got a grand speed boost controller on the vehicle. If we make our way to the back over here, you can see you got that cob down pipe right there. There's your turbo, which I've never really seen from the back side. Um, yeah, and uh, got a flex fuel module back there which is that thing that you're seeing on screen this guy right here so me and him actually spent a good good bit the other day installing that together ended up having to get the car up on jack stands and we got underneath it and we spent about four hours out now let me explain so that downpipe that cob downpipe whenever he got it in the mail as a you know part the o2 sensor bung right there where the o2 sensor threads into that bung actually had a bolt screwed down into it from the factory just to you know i guess keep debris and stuff out of the port itself uh, so stuff doesn't get down into it which is normal and it's pretty common for uh, companies to do but whenever he went to remove it it was screwed in there so tightly and it that bolt became seized up to the point that he couldn't get it out and when he was using the allen key which is just an allen key hole uh, to get it out he ended up stripping it um so upon stripping it he needed help you know getting it out and at first he didn't need it just because it didn't have all the e85 setup on the car so he didn't have to you know have it taken off so he just ran it without that you know upstream o2 sensor um so that being said we once he wanted to, you know, install the E85 kit, we ended up having to go underneath the car, take the entire downpipe off, which is an absolute pain to do on a WRX, which I, you know, haven't really worked on too many Subarus. And that being my first downpipe on one is an absolute pain because you've got like five different bolts around the downpipe that you have to get off. And those two right there up top, you have to use two wrenches, one from each side to crank on it. Uh, at the same time to loosen them both to get those bolts out and there's barely in a room to fit a socket around it so yeah thanks Subaru absolutely god awful uh doing a downpipe job on us not to mention the uh spark plugs and coil packs that are right there and they're on the side of the motor with absolutely no way to get into changing them but I guess that's part of the uh flat world boxer life that a lot of the Subi guys are used to um, I'm not sure how you would even swap those out, but um, we actually had our shop at work do that for him. Uh, they pulled out the uh, spark plugs and coil packs, replaced those, and they ended up also doing the uh, fuel injectors for him as well. Um, so they pulled those out because that was out of our means of what we really wanted to do here in my garage and uh, swap those injectors out for bigger ones as well so he can run the E85. And we worked up everything else for the car itself. and. Now it is running on full E85, um, making about that, you know, a three or 340 or 350 horsepower mark or so. He's trying to do about 400 wheel, but I mean that's that 340-ish, 350 is is to the wheels on the, on this car. Um, as far as any sort of dyno numbers, I mean we don't have those yet. It's just kind of a starting point for us. But yeah, super fun car. Very fun to drive. Pretty cool looking engine bay. It's weird looking at a motor and seeing it laying on its side because I mean you have all this room here right in front of the engine and on the sides you just have a big old hole here. There's really nothing down in there. So yeah, very neat, very neat car. Um, pretty much like I said, everything on it is set up for power right now. He wanted to get most of the engine mods and stuff out of the way and you know slap some wheels on it. Um, you know, nice clean looking wheels that definitely needed more traction. So uh, those Toyo tires that he has on it are a blessing. Now you get nice daytime running lights. It's been, oh, there's our buddy Isaiah in his old wagon. 
Hi, Isaiah. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, yeah. Nice daytime running lights on the car that I really like. Uh, that Subaru has been doing for a while now. Those actually light up all the way around. Very clean looking. But, you know, I mean, you guys have seen Subarus. You're used to seeing what these are like. But, you know, every once in a while, once I get something interesting here, I like to just kind of stand around and talk about it. Check out the car. See what it's like. Um, here in a second, we can get in it and actually drive it. But I'll have to disconnect the Bluetooth from the car. Hopefully that doesn't mess with the audio. But yeah, we actually need, I need to go to the bank personally. Put some money in so we can pay for the stupid Supra. So we might as well go do that. Let's just get that all closed up. I just found a, a random guitar pick laying in the grass. So cool, finders keepers. The old dealer tag laying there. Don't know why their garage is open. All right, so let's get in the car. Make sure we got our wallet with us, anyways. All right, let's go. So here, actually, I'm gonna see if I can do that. Yeah, nice little startup animation. We roll all the windows down for you guys so you can hear what's going on. Might have to disconnect the car from the Bluetooth, so hold on. Do, 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 do. really know how to work this thing. Be patient with me. I've never really gotten the chance to play with it, so I'm trying to figure out how to disconnect my cell phone from it. And I could just technically turn off the Bluetooth. Connect phone. Disconnect. Disconnect all. Okay, so that's all disconnected now. Audio device disconnected. Okay. So it should be good now. You guys should be able to hear me now instead of through the car. Which the car doesn't have a mic, of course. So, all right, let's go ahead and start it up. All right, we're on. Superboo Starlink. I don't know about Subaru's infotainment system. It's not really my favorite. I mean, it's okay. It's not the best thing in the world, personally. I'm just gonna let it warm up for a minute while we sit here. trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't say anything for the day. Kind of made me nervous. Oh, actually, we do need to grab something from in the house before we pull off, since we are going to be taking that to the bank. Might as well let you guys hear the car a little bit too while it sits here. Let's go inside and grab what I need real quick. All right, my trash dog. Move it. You want it to go outside. Go. Stop. Too many animals here. So many animals everywhere. <gasps> Sorry if you guys don't like the longer videos. 
but today I just felt like doing something a little different. All right, we got our check that we needed. Took to the bank for my awesome job that I love so much. Ugh. Put the uh, trash back in. It's still cubby here, which is still recording, so that's good. Pop that in there. And all right, let's go to a little drive. I don't know if I'm going to drive long, probably not. I'm probably just going to do a short little run down the road to the bank, and then I'll probably cut the video after that. House key, house key, house key. Found it. Ha. <laughs> All right. I don't think the car sounds happy right now. It's not like it's something that's going on with Cameron's tune. Back in it. from every other car I've ever been in, I will confidently say that there is nothing else that does sound like a Subaru, and I think that's really cool. So I will shut up for a minute, and let's just let you guys enjoy the sounds of the booby, of the boobaroo. All right, safety first. Watch out other maniacs on the road. driving a manual too since we got the Supra. Uh, the Supra's great, don't get me wrong. I mean, it is an awesome car, but nothing quite like driving a manual on a nice sunny morning like this. Woo. It's a pretty quick car, like I said. I mean, it's making about 300, what, 40? We got some backfires. 360 horsepower. Uh, make sure we get out here safely. It's kind of tricky doing this. I need to get a dedicated camera for this kind of stuff and making videos for you guys, but alas, all my money does go. Oh, another backfire towards paying a lot for my car. So makes it kind of tricky. Finding the money to save up for everything all the time. Plus, you know, not that you guys want to know everything about my personal life, but I mean, I do have a do have a girl, and I do have a car, and I do have a child. I thought I said child third. <laughs> I meant to say child second. I do have a girl. I do have a kid. You know, I mean, I've got a three-year-old boy, and you know, we live on our own together, and gotta pay for bills, gotta pay for the house, and life always gets in the way of having fun with cars. Don't know why this tundra behind me was absolutely on my ass. Let's go. strong the tune that he has on it is pretty good so far Dang, sounds good that guy looked like jason momoa what a handsome fella all right that's that intake that just a lot this car does have a lot of induction noise oh there's a c8 hello friend um when you do get on it uh, and you do a little bit of a pull that intake likes to make this kind of air chopping noise and it sounds pretty like I'm just just listen I'm sure you guys heard that I mean it's pretty dang loud in here so you had to have heard it oh kind of left everybody in the dust back there one more time Woo! got pop pops 
Subaru gave us some pop pops. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to heel toe. Oh. All right, that wasn't terrible. Not a terrible rev match, but not great either. Movic fan. All right, let's focus. Whee! It's good, it's quick. It's not lightning fast, but it's quick. It's good, it's good enough for this car. It's plenty to have fun with it. Plus it makes ridiculous noises, so it just sounds great. All right, let's pull it to the bank. Like I said, it was just down the road, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with this car forever. I'm gonna go ahead and put more money in the bank so I can pay my life away to the Supra. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review of my buddy Cameron's Subaru WRX STI. A good bit of bolt-ons, fully 85 car. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me for a little bit on this morning. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.